Hi, this is Steve Withers at CES 2011 here in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by a good friend, Kevin Vines from THX, who's here to talk about 3D certification. Um, I'm very well, thank you, Kevin. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Excellent. Now, when we talked to you at CEDIA uh, last year, there was only one 3D certified display at the time, which was an LG. Um, now there's a few more, so perhaps we can talk about that for a start. Certainly. Um, since then, we've actually certified two more LG units, uh, We've one of which is... Um, uh, for the UK market, one for the broader world market. We've certified uh, one um, sharp unit that's uh, for the Japanese market. And the most recent um, is uh, the JVC uh, projector for uh, higher end home theaters. Also, all of these are 3D certified. Great, and perhaps you could just quickly run through how you approach certification for displays rather than projectors. Certainly, uh, well, actually, I'll go a little broader than that. We actually do take into account whatever the technology is, whether it's plasma, LCD, or projection. So our specs are adjusted for the given technology. As an example, we know that the LCDs tend to be the brightest. We know that uh, projectors uh, tend to have less light output, but we hold them to the same standards that digital cinema is. Okay, great. Um, one of the things that I've noticed uh, in reviewing uh, 3D displays, and also actually the, the one that was certified first from LG, is that there's been a modern trend towards having sort of glass-fronted uh, panels, uh, which does cause a certain amount of reflection. How, how does CHS address that in terms of, because obviously reflections have a tendency to draw you out of the uh, 3D image to a certain extent? Well, you can't really go in and force manufacturers to uh, sort of break their trends, because of course LG does it as much for aesthetic reasons of the entire panel as anything else. So the way we address that, and actually you can see this on our website, is that we have a series of recommendations for the environment. So we talk about placement of lighting, uh, distractions in your field of view, um, where you sit in the room so that you get a, a, shall we say, a wider field of view while you're watching 3D so that you're more immersed. So you can't really control the home environment but you can make recommendations so that uh, anyone who wants to enjoy 3D can manage their own environment so that they can get the best experience possible. Okay. Um, to date, all the 3D displays that have been certified by THX have been active shutter, um, but there's no reason why THX wouldn't certify a, a passive display if that was put forward to you? None at all. Uh, simply no one has uh, uh, asked us to try yet. First of all, any unit that is 2D and 3D capable must pass 2D certification before it passes 3D certification. In the 2D world, we have upwards of 400 individual data points that we measure. We measure image performance as well as image processing performance, signal performance, if you will. Uh, we make sure that uh, they're working to uh, the standards for uh, colorimetry, the standards for grayscale, and uh, we make sure that there's no visible or measurable artifacts in the image processing itself. We, um, we also look at um, performance characteristics such as uniformity. And then when you get into 3D, it's that times two because we actually do the work and the measurements through the glasses because understanding that there is a significant light loss through 3D glasses we and color shift as well. So what we do there is we take the same measurements, and we make sure that not only do the eyes match one another, but again, are we meeting the uh, performance requirements of the standards of the industry? Also then we add some 3D tests on top of that, uh, things such as crosstalk. Uh, Off-axis viewing becomes much more important. We actually measure head tilt, and we also have a, um, a fixed light source we use to measure the performance of the glasses independent of the panel. It's interesting because when you're looking at a 2D display, of course, there are industry standards to which you can uh, adhere, like Rec. 709. Without any current industry standards for 3D, THX effectively has become the industry standard in terms of, um, you know, for, for, for consumers uh, when they're purchasing a display. Well, that's correct, and it's, it's all about the philosophy of our founder, George Lucas. We want the consumers to see exactly what the creative saw when they were, when they were making their movie. So... Again, what you have is you have the Rec. 709 standards for color and for grayscale, uh, you know, the obvious parameters of an image. 
Well, we have also some accepted industry practices in the 3D world in lieu of standards. So we also try to make sure that they adhere to those as we know it occurs in the post-production process. Um, also, I noticed that um, you won an award at CES, I believe. Is that right? Innovations Award for the Certification Program? We did. Uh, we're very proud of it. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.